Hey guys, Greg Denning. I wanted to talk about something that's, uh, it's hard. It's challenging, but it's so important. I'm gonna tell you some, some powerful stories, give you some great quotes. But first, a Chinese proverb says, if you're going to seek revenge, you'd better dig two graves. Whoa, right? <laughs> wow, it's powerful. Why is that? Because if we're not willing to forgive, we really hurt ourselves. Let me illustrate with a great quote that has really changed my life. Bitterness is a poison you swallow hoping your enemy will die. Someone shared that quote with me years ago and, and it changed my life. You know, I grew up in a, in a broken home. I was out on my own and, and getting out on your own and living in the places where I lived, a lot happened and people robbed me and wronged me and hurt me. And, and there were a lot of situations where, you know, I ended up hurt or worse off. And for a long time, I carried this, this bitterness and this anger and this hatred. And I realized it was really just hurting me. And that it was like poking myself in the eye, hoping that they were worse off. And so at some point, I know how hard this is. I've been there. And at some point, you have to learn to forgive and let go. And I did that. And I found peace in my heart. And maybe you don't forget. Maybe you just forgive and you just let go. Like someone said, let go and let God. You know, just let God deal with it. But if we go around like the parable of the unjust servant, right? Remember, he was forgiven. He had a debt of 10,000 talents. I mean, it's just extraordinary, almost impossible to be that far in debt. And the king frankly forgave him and said it's free. And then he went out and he grabbed somebody, one of his neighbors by the neck and said, you know, pay me what you owe me in this minuscule amount. And the king found out and said, come on, I forgave you all that debt and you wouldn't even forgive your neighbor. And he threw him in prison. And it's just, there's just a great lesson there that it, at some point you have to be in a position to forgive. And there's a great little thought that, you know, forgiveness is the fragrance that the violet gives off on the heel of the one who crushed it. Wow. Right? And, and as you and I let go, they'll, they'll come peace into your heart and into your mind. And you can just say, you know, that's that's your stuff. You can own it. And and I, and I got in that, that posture and that position. And I, I learned that over the years. It was so important. And now if somebody says something mean to me, does something mean to me, is rude or wrongs me in some way. It's your stuff. I'm going to let you own it. I'm not taking on your crap. I'm not going to carry your crap around in, in my load and carry my, you know, hurt my cargo and hurt myself. And so I want to challenge you today that if there's somebody in your life who you need to forgive, just forgive them. Okay. Uh, some of you may want to go and, and let the person know you've forgiven them. Others may need to just, just forgive and it doesn't mean you have to, you know, be best buddies again or any of that stuff, but just let it go. I mean, there's story after story after story, story from the scriptures, you know, uh, Joseph in Egypt forgiving his brothers for what they did. And Les Mis, right? The priest, the bishop forgiving Jean Valjean who stole his silver. And that forgiveness changed his life forever. Oh, it's so important. So I challenge you. To forgive, you know, and in, in the comments section here, uh, I'd love to know why why is why is it hard for you to give, or, or what experiences you have you had, what benefits have you had by forgiving? Again, in the conversation, and let's let's help each other do this difficult but wonderful wonderful thing. Okay, uh, remember to subscribe for these videos if you haven't already. We're gonna we're gonna keep releasing great videos, helping us live at our very best levels. Reach upward.